My name is David Desert from Eugene, Oregon. I'm 58 years old and a 10-year pancreatic cancer survivor. It took me five months to get diagnosed with pancreatic cancer. I spent most of my days on my hands and knees rocking, trying to relieve the pain. My primary care physician gave me some painkillers and said, come back in three weeks and see if it's any better. And, and it wasn't. Another CT scan finally showed a tumor in my pancreas. So when I was told that I had pancreatic cancer, I had associated any cancers with just a death sentence. And my first reaction was, okay, I'm I'm a walking dead person. This particular treatment just worked quite well for me, and it changed my attitude and everything, taking much more interest in my own care. My father also had a BRCA2 mutation, but he was diagnosed with pancreatic cancer seven years after my diagnosis. I had this abdominal pain and back pain, and that's what he was looking for, but it did not present that way for him. He really had no pain whatsoever. A big difference between his treatment and mine is I went to MD Anderson, so that is a major cancer center, whereas he's in this uh, regional center, lives in a retirement community, and I really think they have the attitude there that, well, everybody's going to be dying here soon anyway, so we're just gonna try to make them as comfortable as possible. The huge difference between between the NCI major cancer center, one-stop shopping for all the doctors you need, and uh, the care being spread out to a bunch of different doctors at different places is really a time-consuming event. His original oncologist, he had written into his medical information that he was too weak for any treatment and shouldn't be offered any. Just that one little comment delayed every other appointment that we had and really just made that doctor speaking the truth eventually because after all that delay he really was too weak. So I was doing all this uh, research for myself and for my family and I felt like uh, you know I should share this knowledge with other people. We do not have very many long-term survivors who can pass on knowledge like some of the other cancers so that was one of the things I thought I could bring and I also felt like, you know, I've learned from so many other people who have now passed. This is a way that I can keep them alive. I have two sons, and um, one of my treatment goals really was to see them graduate. And I did, both of them, actually. And then they've actually went on to college and got to see them graduate from college, too. Happy Father's Day, Dad.